First question, how are you feeling? <laughs> um, very thirsty. Mm. Cramp in my stomach. And um, first cramp in both legs. Trying to get my breath. Extremely dehydrated. I saw a bottom. <laughs> I've never got cushions. <laughs> Lots of padding there. Yeah. Tell me again why you're doing this. Because there's a little girl called Belle who's nine years old and last year she was playing in her friend's garden on a climbing frame like any nine year old would do. And unfortunately she had a little fall like any nine year old would do. Her fall ended up with um, her having a broken neck, a very severe broken neck, which meant that she's now paralysed and on a ventilator to a trachea in her neck. And in order to have a good quality of life, she will need in the future lots and lots of equipment and uh, rehab work and might need her mum and dad to have an extension to the house as well and because her dad works and I don't get as much benefits as they may be entitled to so I'm going to draw for 50 half marathons in 60 days and go over a million metres and I hopefully get lots and lots of sponsor money in to fund rehab work and the equipment for her for the next 5, 10, 15 years hopefully. Because as she grows up she'll need more and more equipment because she'll grow out of all the stuff she's got now. Mm. And if I don't do something about it, who is going to do something about it? I only know this girl because her mum and dad asked me as a physiotherapist myself to come and see her and assess her and do some treatment with her. And I've just been touched by how brave she is and how wonderful her family care for her. And I think we just need a bit of help. So how can Which, we help you then? Well, the 50 mile hour problems that we're doing will be at the gym and maybe a few other places. And I'd like as much support as possible. Um, financially, people can sponsor. Which would be great, we need to raise thousands and thousands of pounds. Um, people can come and sit next to me on the rowing machines and row with me because it's a very lonely, lonely exercise <laughs> and it gets right into your head. Um, people can just donate some money to the Bean Bell Trust, Bell being the name. Um, checks, of course, it's not a charity itself because. It's only for one single person. It's a trust it's set up for her to provide a good one for her. Um, apart from rowing next to me and sponsoring and donating money, then come and see and come and watch if you want. Come and have a gaze at how painful this is really going to be. When are you going to start doing it again? Um, start the first one on the 2nd of July. Um, and that'll be a Saturday, so anybody can come and have a look. There'll be sponsor forms and posters all around uh, the gym, around the Craven gym. <laughs> <laughs> and um, please read it and keep following it, because um, Kerry and one of the um, gym instructors will be keeping a monitor of exactly what I do and recording every single uh, row that I do until we get to the million metre mark probably have graphs and all sorts all over the place because he likes to do that. You maybe want to have a look at the figures and have a little gamble on how many calories I'll use up and um, the total time it might take me to do it. I might put a little chart up to see if you want to put some money towards that as well. Can you give us a, a rough idea of how long it might take you? Um, roughly it will take 75 hours of rowing. Um, it's a rough idea, but I'll try and get as close as I can to uh, uh, some record times. At the moment I'm 
have done one of the practice rows and it's within five minutes of the British record. Um, and hopefully I'll keep within five, seven minutes of the British record and be able to judge for yourself how long that will take if you look it up on the Concept2 website. And if you know anybody else who can't come down and sponsor but they're interested and tell everybody what I'm doing, hopefully we'll get lots of awareness for this little girl and she can um, get some money to fund her through the next 10, 20 years. I'm a bit sweaty now. <laughs> How are your hands? Um, so, lots of blisters going through now. Nice. A bit numb as well, I get pins and needles in the fingers from about 10,000 metres onwards and that just continues until I finish. From 10,000 metres onwards and you're doing 21,000 metres in total each time? Yeah, but I get pins and needles in my fingers from the, just the blisters and the, the pressure that I put through the pad of the hand, it pressures on one of the nerves. So. I suppose one consolation is I can't feel my hand at the end of it, so I don't <laughs> feel the blisters. <laughs> A drink now. Any more questions, Kevin? I think that's enough. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Support me. <laughs>